Hey, what's up coders, I'm Coderius and today a quick video on how to create a star using Shader Graph. Before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe and I see you in Unity. Let's start by creating a standard 3D project. We could start a URP project, but I don't like the default scene. Once the project is created, go to the package manager and add the universal RP package. Then we must create the URP pipeline assets and assign the asset in the project settings onto graphics. We must also enable the post-processing on the camera and delete the directional light as we want to need it. In this project, I use the free asset RealStar Skybox Light as background. You can download it for free on the asset store and include it in the project. If the lighting window is not open, go in the window menu on the rendering and click lighting. Then in the lighting window in the submenu environment, we can add the real stars skybox. Okay, we can now add a sphere and create the shader graph. Right click on the shader graph, create a material from it and assign it to the sphere. All right, double click on the shader graph to start editing. We need a base color for our star. Enable HDR and choose a nice orange like our sun or any other color. Stars have cells on their surface that we can simulate with the Voronoi noise map. We can add a float to control the density of the cells and link it to the density input of the Voronoi node. Stars create solar flares and we can do the same. From the Voronoi node, we connect a power node and a float variable to control the strength of the solar flares. Next, we add a color to our cells that we connect to the rest of the chain with a multiply node. At the end, we can add the chain to the base color and reconnect to the emission input. Save the asset and let's have a look in the scene view. It's not yet so shiny because we don't have any post-processing effect. Let's add the global volume and create a global volume profile. We will use the bloom effect to light up our star. A threshold of 0.5 and intensity of 1.5 should already produce cool results. I mentioned solar flares, but so far we don't see any, and that's because our cells are static. So let's go back to our shader graph. Let's add a time node and multiply it with a value to control the speed of our cells. We connect it to the angle offset of our Voronoi node. We can also add a radial shear for more distortion and connect it to the UV of the Voronoi. Alright, let's go back to the scene mode and have some fun. It's really up to you what kind of star you wanted to create. We can change the values, turn the star in blue to have a white dwarf, increase the solar flares to simulate many explosions or increase the bloom intensity to make a supernova. Alright, it's already the end of the video, I hope you liked it. If that's the case, thank you very much for giving a thumbs up and why not subscribing to the channel? You probably realize that the base of the shader is quite similar to cartoon water shaders like the one made by Brachis, so I thought it would be normal to give him credit for that. In the next video, we will use this star to create a solar system with orbiting objects using real physics. Thank you very much for watching, keep coding, and see you next time.